what's up everybody welcome back to the channel so doing a little cooking video making some breakfast for dinner that's always good um this video was actually recorded back in june um i'm just now getting around to it you know voiceovers are kind of hard to do when you got three screaming boys but anyway by the title you can see someone stole from my kitchen can you guess that someone you guessed it correct if you said king this boy is three years old and he's acting like he's like five, six, seven, you know, around that age. And I just wanted to break the story down for y'all. So it was a morning not too long ago, maybe like last week. And uh, I actually slept in a little bit. I didn't wake up fully until like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Yeah, that's sleeping in for me. Anyway. <laughs> He busted in my room was like, Mommy, I want cookies. And I was like, well, King, it's still morning time. You don't get cookies until, you know, dessert after dinner. And he got upset, ran out of my room, went to go play with his toys. And I was like, still half asleep, trying to wake up. And I didn't hear too much from him. So he like, he was doing something. I could hear toys being put up. But... I instantly knew something was up because he like ran and slammed my door, my bedroom door, slammed it shut. And then all of a sudden I hear another door shut and I was like, mm -mm, what is going on? <laughs> so I went to the kitchen first because of course I knew the cookies were there. They were in with like within his reach. He's pretty tall, got long arms or whatever. And so I'm like, this boy done stole a cookie out of the cookie bag. So I go to open his door and it's locked. And so I'm like, King, what are you doing? And he starts like whining and stuff. And I'm like shaking the door like, King, unlock the door because he locked it. And he's like rattling the door with me, pretending like he can't unlock it. Mind you, King knows how to unlock the door. Whenever Mimi or Pops comes over, he tries to unlock the front door and he generally can get it if he's not confused. Um, so I'm sitting here struggling trying to get this pin because we have like little pin key thingies to lock or unlock the doors. And I'm struggling and he's like, he's not saying much. He's just kind of like whining and trying to, my guess is trying to stuff the cookie down his throat. So, you know maybe two minutes go by that was a long two minutes let me tell you maybe one two minutes go by and i finally get the door unlocked and you know i'm at this point i'm like oh my god i'm pissed because he's playing with me you know he's literally like trying to stuff this cookie down his throat i know he either ate it all or he's finishing it and he does not want to unlock that door because he knows he's going to get in trouble now, I really don't condone the whole physical discipline. If you know me, like family, I really hate for it to get that far. But at this point in the morning, I was tired. I was just upset that he wouldn't even listen to me. I would have gave him the second half of the cookie after lunch if he would have, you know, unlocked the door. So anyway, I get in and I'm like, King, where's the cookie? He moves his foot. And there's like one fourth of the cookie left. <laughs> and I just look at him and I'm like, King, why? Why did you go steal a cookie? He instantly starts crying and he's upset. He's falling out, throwing a tantrum. I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I picked the cookie up and actually he smiled at me when I opened the door. He smiled. So I knew. <laughs> he knew what he did was not okay. Um... And he thought it was funny. So I take the cookie, throw the rest of it away, and I make him sit on the couch. And then he instantly starts, I'm sorry, Mommy. I'll never do it again. I'll never steal a cookie again. I said, and you'll never lock your door again. Excuse me? It's not even about stealing the cookies because newsflash, buddy, you're going to steal something else again from Mama. Whether it's a cookie, fruit snacks, you're going to steal it again if I don't put it up in the right place. But it's the fact that he locked his door and I just don't understand why my three-year-old is so smart. Why are you locking? <laughs> why are you shutting my door, first of all? 
shutting your door and locking it so you can eat the cookie. I said, no cookies for breakfast. We don't do that. And so he's sitting on the couch and randomly, like, I'm cleaning up the living room, getting the twins together. I'm sorry, mommy, I'll never do it again. I'll never steal a cookie again or lock my door again. I'm just like, you know what, King? That's sweet and all, but I know you're going to do it again. Both of those things. I know he's going to lock his door again sometime for whatever reason. I know he's going to steal more food if I don't put it up far enough. And that gave me a little bit of more insight on just parenting with boys who eat a lot. That means I have to watch out for three little thieves because the twins are going to follow in King's footsteps. Who knows what they're going to steal next together. Um, And, you know, people say, oh, it gets easier, like, when they get older. I'm not so sure it gets easier. I'm sure the independence part gets easier. They start being more independent. But that also comes with sneakiness and new, you know, what is the word? Just new obstacles to overcome when it comes to raising children. Now, I've always heard stories of how me and my brother and sister were when we were younger. I've always heard of, like, the little sneaky stories. I snuck some cheese and bologna one night, one night, one night and um, the next day I was very constipated. I ate a whole pack of bologna and cheese. I heard of that story before. Um, I was one. I used to steal food out of my granny's refrigerator, climb down the stairs and stuff, but it's just like... When you actually become the parent, you get a rush of reality like, you know what, I never want to do this again. But then you realize, even after 18 years, you're still the parent. You still have to (laughs) go through trial and error. And I bet you now I have a better understanding of, you know, just my parenting and how it's going to go for me I will always do something that King doesn't like or the twins don't like because I'm you know trying to be that model parent I'm trying to you know mold them into respectable men and it's just like yeah I really don't want to do this again but then it's like you still have to do it until you croak (laughs) you'll be helping raising grandchildren and you'll be helping like all these extra things that us as parents have to do doesn't stop when they turn 18 because the children get even more extra their mouths get extra their attitudes get extra their actions are extra and you know I was a good kid and I thought I was going to be lucky to have and my kids are good by all means but I thought I was going to be lucky and have the good kids (laughs) and just have the I don't know I was sneaky but damn three years old so maybe I need to start kid proofing the whole entire house I don't know but I was actually very shocked that my son stole cookies and locked his door closed my door maybe he thought like gosh she ain't gonna know and he ate basically the whole cookie Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. You aren't done. You need to finish just a little bit more, King. If I was to say to King, do you want some more eggs? Mm Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm Mm-hmm. He'd say yeah, but he doesn't really want eggs. I mean, he's not really full. He's not really done. There's boxes back here because I'm going to do like a DIY with a lot of them. I'm trying to get back into cooking. Um, but obviously breakfast is like really like a go-to. It's easy. Yeah, real easy. I have tortillas as well because I'm trying to gain weight. Um, it's working. I lost two pounds when I went to Fort Wayne. But we're going to gain it right back. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing more cooking videos like this instead of explaining what I'm doing because honestly, I'm looking up recipes or doing my own thing. Like, I'm not really a cook, so there's no reason for me to like say what I'm doing. You guys can see and tell. Tortillas, eggs, and sausage be so bomb, bro. 
Hi, fat butt. <laughs> Hi, Angel. <laughs> Are you eating a waffle? Try. Are you eating a waffle? Try. Hi, handsome. <laughs> yeah, look at those teeth. Yeah, show me a pearly white. Say I'm handsome. Say I'm handsome. handsome. I'm king. king. I'm strong. strong. I'm important. <laughs> so yeah, today um, we ate a little later because we went to the zoo. So I'm going to put them in bed. And then clean the house. So, yeah. I'm done for the day. I am tired as hell. If you guys like these kind of videos, though, let me know. And obviously, I can do way more of these since we eat at home almost every day. So yeah. <laughs> you are so cute, Malachi. <laughs> yes, look at my baby. Yes, hey, a king. Hi, handsome king. <laughs> He's my daddy. Yeah. Alright, you guys, we'll see you guys later.